He's a new baseball coach at UCF and a former Knight has come home. Rich Rollis, first welcome. You and I were just talking uh, for you and your family. This has to be an incredibly special day. Yeah, to start where I started here as a player and then as a coach to come back and, and be here to lead this program into this next phase into the Big 12 Conference, it's, it's unbelievable. I'm, I'm coming home and it's, it's really a dream come true. Coaches sometimes have that dream of being able to come back to my alma mater. Sometimes the stars don't align. So when the stars began to align, did it begin? And has it sunk in yet for you that this is now your program? It has a little bit when I put the jersey on in that photo shoot. That's a long time since I put that jersey on. And like you said, it's got to line up right. And for this to happen the way it did, we got to move three times in 12 months. And my wife's going to have to deal with that. But this is well worth it. Take us back. You chose to be a knight. It mattered for you to come to UCF. You played on some of the great UCF teams. So those three letters mean what to you? Family, like the UCF baseball family, the closeness that we still have with those teammates and the, the other alumni, the ones I've played with, coached, it's, it's special. You have an idea of the type of program you want to build. You've worked with some great coaches. So kind of give us an idea today, months before you'll kind of get going, what a Rich Wallace UCF program is going to look like. Well, I think it's an aggressive, fundamentally sound team that can win all types of baseball games. And it'll be a joy for our guys to watch. You got a lot of work to do of standpoint, recruiting never stops. What are the uh, few priorities now in the days and weeks ahead for you? Well, I think it's, no, you can ask me this 10 years from now, it's always gonna be pitching, um, variety of pitching, athleticism, infield defense. Like that's, if you look at what we were doing last year, that's the, the massive improvements that we need to make but it's always going to be pitching first. Uh, we're going into the Big 12. Uh, it, it's a little bit of a different league when you came here and played at UCF or playing bit. the Atlantic Sun and yes. things like that. But what's the challenge there? Obviously, it's one of the top four conferences in the country. Right. You coach in some of the best leagues in the country. What's that jump going to be like? What's your challenges? Well, I mean, I, last year in the World Series, I got to see Texas and Oklahoma and the overall athleticism of those teams. The variety of arms and the level of stuff is just, it's elite. Um, when you're trying to win the Big 12 and you're competing in the Big 12, you're going to be in the NCAA tournament. You, if you did that, you're going to win. You have a chance to win a regional. That's why there's been a Big 12 team, I think, in the World Series every, every year for the last six years. When you uh, talk to players, whether it is high school players or those that uh, think about transferring, what's your pitch and what do you think sells here? This, this place is special. That's the area, the school the cutting edge to the, the thought of what this school really is and the, and the team and where we can take this. There's things that this place is truly capable of that somebody has the chance to be the first one to do it. That's what drew me here as a player. When I got here in 1999 in the fall, we had never won a regular season championship. And that group of players came here to be the first ones to win a, a regular season title. And that, that meant something to us. And we won, I think we won three in a row. Um, to have a, a program that's capable of doing those things but hasn't done it yet and you can come here and be the first to do something special and build something, I think that's special. People uh, have influenced you along the way. If I ask you to give me maybe two, three names that have impacted you, whether it was when you were a player or working with coaches uh, to this day, who, who are some of the biggest influences on you? I mean, my first influence, obviously, Jay Bergman. He gave me my first shot. Um, he showed me what leadership was as a player and then coaching with him. I thought he was something different when you played for him and then you coach with him and you look at the different angles and why he did certain things. He had a reason for everything he did and he led us and he did a lot more with less. And that was something that always stuck with me. Just find a way to get it done. Um, Craig Cozart here, his relationship with the players, that how much that meant, take away the wins and losses, how much his relationship with the players. I mean, he's been in every player he ever coached wedding. I think that's that's special. That's different than just the wins and losses. And then Link Jarrett, I think he's arguably the, the best college baseball coach out there. Amazing tactician, organization, the intensity and the focus. It's it's elite and just taking something from all of them. You had a chance to obviously a, a talk with Terry Mahadra, the AD, uh, Dr. Cartwright, and, and, and I'm gonna ask you to share a little bit what you can about what those conversations are like and, and why they made you feel like this is very comfortable for me. Well, I think they're, I want to build a monster here, um, an elite Omaha caliber program, and they are behind it and they're going to provide the resources and they're, they agree with that. That's just, this could be a monster and I want to build it and I think they do too. Family matters. You mentioned a couple of times about former teammates and, and your players. Your family matters. 
Um, share a little bit uh, with Night Nation about the first family of UCF baseball. You tell me how your mom reacted, but I think yes. fans want to hear that when, when, when mom learned about this. Yeah, I called my mom. I told her I'm, I'm coming home and it might have been six minutes of <laughs> silence. I was like, mom, you got You got to say something. Well, she was crying. So uh, same thing with my wife and my kids are fired up. My wife, Alex, she's she's a baseball wife to the core. Um, we got married at Rosenblatt at home plate. And everybody always asked me, how'd you get her to do that? And I'm like, I said, yes, she was the one running the whole thing. She set it up. I just was lucky enough to say yes. And then my two kids, they didn't, they didn't choose this life, this crazy mess of being a coach's daughter, but they embrace it and they, they love it. And it's, it's pretty neat to watch East and the Max enjoy this. If I had told you when you got here in fall of 99, first season in 2000, I've said, I think you played on the greatest UCF team in 01, but if I told that freshman in the fall, listen, you're gonna come back and be the head coach of this program, what would he have said? Probably you're crazy, you're crazy. I, I, don't, I wasn't even at that point um, in 99. If you would have asked me in 2004, when I, after my first year coaching with that team, which was another special team, that team, the way they played, the brotherhood on that team, honestly made me really, really want to coach college baseball. If you'd asked that guy, I think he would have said, I, I, I can see it. He's the new head baseball coach at UCF. Please say hello to Rich Wallace.